it's is that a badge of honor to sacrifice your mental health for anything else, let alone work? No, I think we need to stop romanticizing the hustle. That has been a dominant sort of ethos over the last 10 or 20 years. And in my opinion, the pandemic cast light on the fact that we are, we are whole individuals. So when we come to work, there's no separation between church and state. There's no separation between home me and work me. And the pandemic made that abundantly clear where, and also we got an insight into, um, how people live and work. And in fact, a lot of, you know, so funny because CEOs, so many leaders, you know, are under the impression that if they can't see the whites of their eyes, they're not working. And the truth is, is that people ended up working for more, um, working from home. And we didn't have those old boundaries that existed. But, and so I think this is actually inviting a really good conversation over vulnerability, over who we recognizing an entire person, not just the work self and conversations come all just along those lines of if I'm not in a good place at work, that actually affects how I interact with my family. And if I'm not in a good place with my family, that affects interacts, interacts with how I work. And so finally, I feel like executives are finally and granted We have the scientific evidence that this is the case. Um, and maybe anecdotally, people have known it in their guts for a long time. But what yeah. I'm very pleased about, Alani, is that the, the pandemic brought a lot of this to light. That's awesome. So that leads me to, to my next question. You know, do you think artificial intelligence is going to help that? Or do you think it's just another backdoor that technology is, you know, using to get into our lives and we are yet to see the blowback from that? <laughs> 